What we're doing is gonna understand your body. When it comes down to it, you're either in control or you're not. And if we're not practicing daily to own and control your body, then how in control just are you? Now think about that for one second. And the reason why you could actually be in pain or not getting over that injury is because you're not practicing the very specific necessities to control your joint system. And what we're gonna do is use tools called controlled articular rotations, CARS for short. And this has given us the ability to listen and identify either how well I'm in control or not in control. And that's power, because now I can understand what I need to feel, control, and then I can train it. Let's dive in. All right, so shoulder blades, critical. Uh, this whole concept about shoulder blades being a stable joint, this is true. Uh, just one factor left out, and that's they have to be able to mobilize into the ranges that they're designed to move into, such as protraction, retraction, elevation, depression. What does that even mean? Let me show you. So protraction is just moving the shoulder blade forward away from the spine. Retraction is going back towards the spine. Elevation, you yeah, know, like shrugs. And then depression, depressing the shoulder blade downward, moving downward. So it's almost like uh, the old school Nintendo joypad, where it's just up, down, back and forth, a little bit. So what we're gonna do is three positions. Position one is just relaxing the wrists and fingers and then relaxing the elbows and just see what you got at moving just the shoulder blades. Forward, up, back, and down. And come back where we, we just came. Back, fall down, up, forward, and down. Now let's do that again, position number two, which is, let's go ahead, still relax the fingers and wrists, but lock out the elbows. The elbows stay locked out, the elbows cannot bend. Up, forward, down, back, up, back where we came, back and down, forward, up, and back. Now, position three. Notice it's getting more challenging, right? That's the intent. We're narrowing it down to seeing just how well the shoulder blades move without your arms compensating. So now we're going to be elbows locked out, hands at the sides of your thighs. If your palms can touch, even better. If they can't, and just your fingers touch, that's fine. Here's the rule. The fingers cannot move forward or back. You have to stay at your side. You can move up and down, but not forward and back. Let's do it. So, up, elbow still locked out, forward, just the shoulder blades. Down, back, and up again. Back the way we came, back and down, forward, up, and back. That was pretty challenging. It's supposed to be, so you can really authentically identify what you have control of and what you don't. That's powerful. Now, just practice it daily.